All right, we are back, and I hope you guys enjoyed that paloma, that uh, Pamasola paloma, a little uh, Coralejo tequila with the grapefruit juice. And I want meant to mention, too, if you don't want to use any alcohol, if you're just kind of keeping it kind of light and, and uh, airy these days, um, or you want to make some kind of fun cocktail for the kids, that's a great drink just on its own without the, without the tequila. Just uh, just the grapefruit juice and the soda and the fresh, fresh uh, squeezed lime. Uh, makes it real nice. And sometimes if I like to sweeten it up, like if I make it for my kids, sometimes that grapefruit juice or the uh, grapefruit juice and the club soda together is just a little bit too dry, a little bit too bitter, buddy. So instead of, of uh, uh, club soda, sometimes I use Seven Up or Sprite. They like that better. It gives it just a little bit of sweetness for them, and uh, usually makes it work um, when you're doing it without any alcohol. All right. So our last drink of the night. Um, and this is going to be great with our dessert. We're going to do a little uh, strawberries over ice cream that this could be like kind of fun with a lot of the same flavors. So I'm going to start with um, some of these little uh, uh, Luxardo cherries, these, uh, these delicious little drunken cherries. This is a really cool bitters. This is chocolate bitters. Um, it's uh, Rock Creek Shrubs. This is make, it made uh, right down in uh, Pot uh, Port Charlotte, excuse me, and uh, all organic, cold press. Uh, a little balsamic and chocolate combination. So that's going to be our bitters for this drink. And then we're using a, uh, a, a uh, orange uh, zest, a little piece of orange zest. I'm going to cut a little, or a little zest off the orange. And I want to make sure I get rid of all this white. So I lay it down flat and I cut all that rind out of there. Um, actually, the pith is what that part is. We want the rind, we want the orange part. We want the nice oils out of the, out of the pith. But, uh, we get rid of that, um, that, that, get rid of that pith because it can be a little bit on the better side. All right, so we just kind of muddle this. You know, all these uh, old fashions, and I, I, the pun is intended. Um, all these drinks are coming back, a lot of fun. And uh, so we kind of mix together the, the sweetness, the bitters, and the, uh, and the zestiness of that lime. The orange, excuse me. And then we can just add some, some ice. Top it off with uh, our screwball peanut butter whiskey. This is really a cool whiskey. Got a little bit of flavor to it. And then I like to add a little rye to it. Uh, it's got a great peanut butter flavor. It's not overly sweet, but uh, that flavor can be kind of strong. And just a little bit of rye balances it out. This is a fun rye. This is from Knob Creek. And this is a, uh, a single barrel. I, I personally hand selected this barrel um, out of the distillery and, uh, and bought the entire barrel. And we've got it available at all the restaurants. But um, it's kind of fun because there's um, there's no other uh, there's no blend in there. The whiskeys aren't blended together. It's just that, that full proof of the of the uh, that one single barrel. So it's going to have a different character, a different flavor than every other barrel on the floor because every time the whiskey's made, they're all a little bit different. Oh, that's nice. Just a little sipper. Just a great way to top off this evening, and it's been a great evening. Can't thank Chantal and John Movement enough. All the great folks at the Van Lazel, all of our staff, all of our management team that put this whole thing together. Um, it's been so much fun. I hope you guys had a great time. Enjoy your evening. Uh, enjoy a little more music. Enjoy some good food, some good uh, beverages. Um, and uh, stay close to your family. Stay safe, stay healthy. And we'll look forward to seeing you very soon. Friday Fest will come up. We're going to have a great summer.